Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an augmented reality application using OpenCV. We will use feature detection to find our target image and then we will overlay a video on top of it. We will write the code from scratch going step by step so it is easy to follow. I upload videos on a weekly basis so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you find this video useful. So let's get started. So the idea here is that we are going to use feature detection to find our target image uh, within a given image that we have. Once we find the target, we are going to find its bounding box and then we will overlay an image or a video on top of that. So in order to do this, we are going to first import our libraries. So first we will go to file, settings, and then the project interpreter and we will add OpenCV and NumPy. So once it's done, we are going to import our library. So import CV2, then import NumPy as NP. Now we will be needing three different types of inputs. The first one will be our webcam that will have the image that we will try to find the target in. Then we will need the target image and then we will need a video or a image that we want to overlay or replace. So let's start with the webcam. So we will write capture is equals to cv2 dot video capture and we will give it index zero. Then we will import our target image. You can see here we have our target image as some cards. So it's in the main directory. So we can directly say image targets is equals to cv2 dot im read and then inside we are going to put image target then we will import our video so for the video we will say that my video is equals to cv2 dots video capture and then we will write down the name of our video which is video mp4 so yeah that should do it and then we will display them in order to see that everything is good so we will write here cv2 dot im show and then inside we will write here let's do the image target image target is image target and then for the webcam we will do it later on and uh, what we will do is we will grab one frame from our video now uh, this is because initially when once we find out our target we are not going to overlay the video directly first we will overlay an image and once we have uh, understood uh, most of the project then we will overlay uh, the video at the end so we will grab the frame the first frame of our video and we will use that uh, in the most part of our tutorial so to grab that frame we are going to write success and then image we are getting from the video so image video and then we will write my video dot read so this will give us the first frame then we can simply display this and here we can write cv2 dot wait key and we will put zero so right click and run i forgot to change the name so let's say my video and there we have it so this is the first frame of our video and this is our image target 
So next we are going to resize our image video. And the reason for that is that the frame that we are getting from our video is not the same size of uh, the, the target image. Now because we want to overlay it exactly the same, they should be of the same size. Otherwise it will not look consistent. So for that we are going to first get the size of our image. So we will write height of our target then width of our target and the channels of our target is equals to image targets dot shape so now the height and the width are stored here and then we can use them to resize so we will say that image video is equals to cv2 dot resize and we want to resize our image video and we want to resize it based on our width and our height so if we run that again now you can see that both of them are of the same size so now we can easily overlay them once we find it okay so now for the webcam we have to add a while loop so let's add that so we are going to say while true we are going to say success and image or should we say something else let's say image webcam so it's easier and then we will say cap dot read and there you go so now we can display this as well so we can write uh, actually let's bring this in as well and then we can just copy this and we can write image webcam and we can write here webcam so if we run this and there you go so this is the webcam this is the video and this is our image target so we want to find our image targets within our webcam so next we are going to create our orb detector which will help us find the features which will eventually help us find the target image now I have discussed in detail how the orb detector works in uh, one of the previous videos so if you want to know more in detail you can check that video out so let's start by declaring our uh, detector so we will write orb is equals to cv2 dot orb create and then we are going to use 1000 and features so the number of features will be 1000 and uh, the first thing we will do is right after creating the detector we will extract the features and the descriptors of our um, image target because they will remain the same so we will find those so we will write kp1 which are our key points and then the descriptors one which are our descriptors and then we will write orb dot detect and compute and then we are going to send in our image target and we will say none so then uh, we want to see these just uh, these uh, key points so we can use the draw function so we can say that our image target is equals to cv2 dot draw key points and then we can use our image target and then we can use kp uh, kp1 and for out image we can write none so if we run this and there we have our key points so we are going to comment this out because we will not be needing this so next we have to find the descriptors and the key points of our second image which is our webcam so what we will do is we will write here the same line as before and then we are just going to change it to 2 and 2 
and then instead of image target we will have image webcam so we can check if it works properly we can just change the image webcam here and here and then we can make this too so if we run this so this gives us the key points of our uh, webcam image now what we need to do is uh, that we have both the descriptors we need to compare them so we will use the brute force matcher to actually compare those so again we don't need this so I will comment this out and over here we are going to introduce our matcher so we will write bf is equals to cv2 dot brute force matcher then we will write matches is equals to bf dot k and n match so this is the same method that we used in our previous video so we will use descriptor one and then descriptor two so all the descriptors will be compared with each other and then we will say k is equals to two now we need to find the good matches in them and so we will declare a list of good and that will be empty and then we will say that for mn in good we are going not in good in matches in matches we are going to find the distance so we will say that if m dot distance is less than 0 0.75 multiplied by n dot distance then we will uh, we will declare that as a good match so we will say that good dot append and we will append m why is this saying this matches oh the spellings are wrong so let me copy that okay so then we will print our length so the length of our good matches which will give us an estimate of how well uh, the target is detected so if we print that we are getting 51 matches so let me remove the image and then we can see how many do we get then so now we got only 13 matches so there is a clear difference and we are able to detect them properly so next we can actually draw our matches to see what kind of matches are we finding so we can write here image features is equals to cv2 dot draw matches and then we will give it our image target and for that we have kp1 and then we have image webcam for that we have kp2 and then we will send in our good matches and then for out image we will put none and then for the flags we are going to put two so now we can copy this and we can put the image features here and here so there we have it so now we can see that uh, which of the features it's detecting within our webcam image so this is it for today's video in the next part we will take a step further to find the homography to detect the bounding box and prepare the image for augmentation if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video